so that's one of the uh, bad parts or the negatives of this uh, enclosure it looks really good it's quite the only thing in here is the hard drives it's made of uh, metal so it you know it runs cool but the only um, the only drawback uh, on that one is is uh, that you have to unscrew the case and then take the hard drive out or you can leave it like that but if I leave it like that then if I'm you know transporting uh, the enclosure from one place to another there's a chance that it'll break the SATA headers and they're really 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 uh, weak uh, so you know but it was for 152 bucks you know can't ask for well actually 152 bucks is a lot of money <laughs> these days but you know this is really cheaply made it's plastic um, other than that it's a pretty decent drive. I'm gonna check the speeds. I'm gonna check the speed right now. See how fast it runs. Sorry for the light. My lighting is bad, and I'm sitting in my garage. Uh, my wife kicked me out of my room. But there it is. Uh, another four drives. They're just for tests. They're old drives. They're not new. Um, it's 500 GB. 320 to 50 to 50 um, but I'm gonna uh, replace them with uh, newer drives and I'm gonna run the tests again um, the newer drives are gonna be 2 terabyte or maybe 2.5 terabyte uh, four of them it's gonna be for right now I'm gonna be using it for uh, like permanent storage uh, I'm not gonna be accessing it that much it's connected via USB, so if I need to transfer it, uh, USB 3.0, uh, USB 2.0 backwards compatible. Uh, so that's that's the plus, and it has eSATA, so I can go either way. Um, the reason I chose this one over there are some other ones on uh, Newegg um, that that had uh, those uh, enclosure. I mean the rails or whatever you call them. Uh, Pull out trays, uh, but those uh, let me show you. Uh, they're a little bit more pricey uh, for my taste. A uh, USB 3.0 and uh, eSATA one with uh, five bays was 309 bucks, which is too much. Uh, like that one. That's my ideal drive right there. I'd like to have one of these, but not for 300 bucks. No way. Um, so that's one of them. Um, so if it had bays like that, that you can just pull out, uh, it would have been awesome. You know, but for this price. Um, that one has USB 3.0 and. Uh, see same thing USB 3.0 and eSATA um, and all the goodies so it slides out like that that would have been a whole lot better I would have been a happy camper um, and it has the mesh grill in, in front so you know the airflow is really nice on that one this one doesn't have the, the, the mesh in the front uh, but then again, the price is 300 bucks. Uh, $309 with free shipping, but still too much. Uh, there's others. There were others that didn't have uh, USB 3.0 um, or USB 2.0 only. There was an 8 bay one for 192 bucks. Uh, I got a return one when I was buying that one. 196 bucks like that now I'm conserving that one but it doesn't have USB 2.0 so if I'm trying to go to my Mac laptop uh, I won't be able to access it unless I buy another expensive uh, card which defeats the purpose I'm trying to save money not spend money but you know but that's the other one 
that, I'm, that one has eight bays. Pretty much a uh, desktop computer. Uh, well, you know, eight bays, two gigs. That's what sixteen. I mean, two terabytes. That's sixteen terabytes of space. Uh, it's got a little LED like you need it. Fan in the back. Uh, so I'm gonna test this. If I like it, I'm gonna keep it. If not, I'm gonna return it and get get that eight bay for 196. I bought this for 152 with free shipping. I'd sign up for some road runner or pro runner or some shit like that, some service. <coughs> uh, well it's uh, a month free. So, and then you get free uh, shipping. Not bad. Uh, and I went off track. But, uh, yeah, so let's uh, test this. Uh, the speed. And, uh, We'll go from there. So here we go. That's as you can see a 5 GB. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but move it to this side. Uh, so that's. That one. It's five gig. 